My check, my check, my check. My check, my check, my check, my check, my check, my check. Oh my god. Thank you so much for contributing, Perquid. We're getting pretty close to that, aren't we? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Knowing my luck, you guys are probably going to choose something like a jump scare based game like freaking. Like a freaking. Well, I don't even want to say it now. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing today? It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon here. I want to go outside. But we do have streaming to do. So there cannot be any going outside today, unfortunately. Hey, Millie! I'm doing- it goes great! How are you? Um, and it appears that... My graphics card's now powerful enough to run both Outward and also VTuber Plus and also Vroid- or VC Face, so that's awesome. <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Let's get started! Can't wait to see where we go in today's adventure, since we actually- since last time we managed to craft a full set of blue armor. Now I don't die instantly from monster encounters, and I can just cheese my way through bandits with ease. I think what we're going to do next, actually, is to find the Vandal Fortress, murder the shit out of everyone inside, and then do a couple dungeons, and then we'll head back to the Holy Nation. Yeah, things are just working. It j everything just works! It's 4.42 in the morning, so we went to bed last time we were here, which means we can go straight outside. You know what, I think it's long since time for us to get a new weapon as well. Don't you agree? We've been using the same bony hatchet for a while, and even though the bony hatchet's been good to me, um, it's the damage potential is rather low now, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here in our pack. Open stash. We're cur currently carrying 31 pounds worth of garbage, not including the stuff in our, um, in our pocket. I also found out that apparently the Smontcom key is a small key that can unlock certain doors. It's supposed to be the key for unlocking the door at the top of the um, Moncom torture camp to open that really fancy chest which we just opened you just woke up Millie oh my god did you have a good sleep <laughs> so then let's go ahead and dump this in there we don't need that anymore we collected quite a bunch of junk from there didn't we Alpha jerky I'll be needing for Levant. I got a place to put, I got to deliver that to someone in Levant. The homeless person living in the jar, in fact. Got a bunch of raw meat here. It needs to be cooked before it spoils. So let's go ahead and do that really quick, actually. Ooh, we can make meats too. I'm out of, I'm out of salt figures. And how much, how many rations? Do we have a lot of rations? Okay. So it looks to me like we've got a decent, a fair amount of stuff here. We're also low in cash because we burned up all our cash pretty much um, building this set of armor. Which was totally worth it, by the way, but still, I'm kind of broke now. I still had like almost a, thou a grand in silver prior to this, and now we're at around 276. Looks like I am still recovering from an illness as well. 
Oh, it's just the cold. That's not that bad. Let's eat some food. Cool. Yeah, it looks like the 3080 is uh, running this game fairly well. I was afraid. I was. I'm kind of have PTSD from reading up on how Unity games destroyed my last card, but it looks like it's doing just fine. Um, the levels aren't really spiking. The temperature is sitting at around 65 degrees. It looks fairly. My GPU looks fairly stable. I don't plan on using this for mining anything or mining or anything, so. Maybe we're fine. Maybe we're fine. Let's see now here. Beast Golem Scraps, I need that too. I need, uh, I got a bunch of spikes for the tripwire traps. Cool. To have one of these stronger spikes for the stronger enemies. I got a bunch of linen cloth here with which to make, um, these poison rags. I can also just make poison rags and sell them back for a hefty profit, with for a relatively decent profit. Okay. Actually, I could just do that right now, couldn't I? Why is it not letting me select the... Oh, because I cooked it. Hmm. I guess I can't make the poison rags right now, huh? Change of plans then. Let's go ahead and fuck up the Vandal Fortress. Then we'll come home, sell all the loot I get from murdering the shit out of those bandits, and then we'll see where we go from there. Sound good? If chat has a different uh, idea, feel free to let me know what you think I should do. Also, it's cold outside, so I'm going to be freezing my tits off. But what else is new, right? I should probably... Actually, I do have some anti-cold right here. Welcome to the Southern Hemisphere, homie. <laughs> hey, Seal. How are you today? Always a pleasure to see you around. <laughs> I need to... Also, I'm kind of annoyed. So, they sold the padded armor, right? Indeed, in town. But they don't sell the padded boots or the padded head or the padded gloves. So, I can't make the rest of my Amalite set that I wanted to try out. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. I just need to remember to not sell that stuff before, you know, I make use of it. Also, I totally figured out that the reason why I didn't stop well, when sprinting was because... It's not because of lag. It's because this game this game simulates momentum. So if, you're where, if you have a lot of crap in your bag and you're running at full speed, you will not stop immediately. <laughs> You will keep going until you run out of momentum. Something you need? And this will get you killed eventually. It's kind of wild. Hmm. You know, I wonder what this fur armor is like. This is supposed to protect you from the cold, too. Nice little winter, we winter weather gear going on there. All right, enough. <laughs> Done with work, same here. Got off work around half an hour ago. I'm glad to be here. Jury's still out on whether or not I'm gonna become a mage. What can I do? But I've decided finally which faction I'm gonna join and 
my hand trackers are broken again. One second. <laughs> Luckily, I know how to fix the hand trackers fairly easily. That was easy. Easy to fix. Alright, where was I? Oh yes. Um, I've decided finally which faction I'm going to join in-game. I'm going to join the Hero Kingdom, because even though the Hero Kingdom is not perfect, I get the impression that they're trying to make things better. Maybe. The Blue Collective or whatever the hell is... I don't, I don't like the Blue Collective, and the reason why I don't. It's because I don't like them continuing these stupid traditions which have pretty much put me in a blood debt, in my full family in this huge blood debt. And the Kingdom of La a lot, the uh, Holy Nation I'm not going to join, both because I'm scared of their god being, act be are scared of their god. And also because it's basically, they're trying to, their solution to fighting off the evil monsters called the Scourge is to annihilate all of them. But over the course of the game, I met Scourge who weren't immediately hostile, which gives me the impression that they're not all evil. There must be some other reason for them being around. So we'll figure that out. So through process of elimination, I'm choosing the one that is least evil, which just happens to be the Kingdom of Levant. I could end up regretting my choices later, of course, so we'll see what happens. Not to mention, it'll be a pain in the ass to get back there. What can I do? All right. Let's do business. You have nothing that I want. These are all fang weapons. <laughs> Greetings, friend. Anything interesting in the academy? No, this is all stuff that I sold to you, like, way back when. So the answer is no. I wonder if Venture Armor would be decent to keep around. Hmm. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Remember this. Interesting. Oh, well, we'll think about joining the Sorobor. Sorobor Subsora something later. After we complete the main quest line and all that other good stuff. Without further ado, it is early in the morning. Let's go ahead and head outside. We're gonna go and knock over the Vandival Fortress and we're going to loot the shit out of it. Need something. This is for two-handed weapon. And I think I'm just gonna go double check the trainers up here, but I'm fairly sure that I can't learn anything from the trainers in here either without spending a breakthrough point, and I want to spend my breakthrough point on something else, to be honest. <laughs> Amba, my friend. So to become a Spellblade, which increases your maximum health stamina and mana by 15 each, you need to spend a breakthrough point. And the problem is, I can't even use mana right now because I would need to go up to... I would need to become a mage first. So I can't even make use of these things at the moment. But this would be an interesting fine and sell. I've been spending this whole game doing sword and shield style. So it would be a natural progression. I'm still glad I picked up this shield like really early in the game. Like just from fucking around and finding out. What could I do for you? I wonder. I wonder if I can also make my way through the ghost pass now that I have decent gear. Make my way to the uh, Wind Cabal. Uh, 
All right, just to make sure we're all ready. Let's uh, go ahead and drink some water first, actually, before we leave. Cool. Without further ado, we once again make our way into the wild blue yonder. Do I have a, a proper tent? I have a fur tent. Okay, that should do. Got plenty of room for things, and I guess before I go, I should also grab some wood to make a campfire. Enough wood to make a few campfires, actually. Two campfires and i forgot this last time but i left home without bothering to bring a flint and tinder set so i couldn't even light the fires if i wanted to which was very embarrassing let me tell you top 10 ways to die bring everything except the thing that you need to actually light fires feels so good to actually have a home to call place to call home again and to place this little wash tower Should I even bother bringing the alchemy kit with me so I can make potions? Hmm. Well, it's not the worst thing, I guess. Just need to keep in mind this thing. I don't want to be filled up with too much junk. I need to be able to, like, you know... I also need to make room here. Right there. Do I have a cooking pot with me as well? So I can make food in case I need to make food? Well, I got plenty of food anyway. That shouldn't be a problem. But you never know. Miner's omelet is starting to go bad. Eat one of those. Bring one pungent paste with me. That'll be useful. And one additional water skin. What the hell? Hmm. It's my old Nomad backpack. How often do I get poisoned in this game? Not very. I think three should do. Do I even need to bring a mining pick with me? Hmm. Sure. Alright, alright, I gotta stop. I gotta stop myself. 51 is enough. I got- I'm wearing too much crap now. That's always my problem in this game, I find. It's very- or in games like this, I should say. It's very easy to... Bring too much with you, more than you really need. I kind of feel a little naked and I bring the cooking pot with me, but I got so much food here that it might not be a problem. Maybe. We'll be fine.
<laughs> Man, this game is running perfectly right now. Beautiful. Yeah, and everything's running on Ultra, too. Shit, man. Yeah, I already drank. We don't want to accidentally kill ourselves again when drinking too much, do we? Do I really want to leave without a cooking pot? <laughs> Fuck it. We'll be fine. And we, we will be fine. We got we got to be affirmative in this case. Nothing bad's gonna happen to us. I hope. I hope. We're already freezing our tits off. Let us drink. There we go. Now then. We're gonna go here, gonna follow the road down south, uh, east. And then keep following the road all the way down towards Vandal Fortress. Do, 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 do. Dumb bird. I see. You know, it's kind of nice that it's snowing. Because I can see people a lot better in the distance. They don't wear snow gear. Can you fuck off, bird? Oh my god. If I really wanted to, I could murder these two bandits right now and they wouldn't be able to stop me. However, I have bigger prey that I am looking to take advantage of. So we will not be doing that unless they attack us first. In which case, it's self-defense. Don't you know? Gotta say, though, what a nice winter wonderland this turns out to be, huh? <laughs> Is the music too low for anyone? Ah, there we go. So making sure we're on the right track so we don't get lost again. Alright. It's funny how often that happens, even on the first map like this. It just occurred to me that there's not really that much popping in this game either. Which I which by by which I mean, you know, objects just popping into the world as soon as you get close to where they should be in game. Elder Scrolls is pretty bad about that in particular. Here are the crossroads. We must continue south westward. I lost track of the road though. I think this is still the road? Yeah. 
Here we go. I think it's where I got lost last time. We go this direction. But as you can see, the road has vanished yet again. I'm just guessing that it's this one, where the grass is least plentiful. Just like how you would pathfind in real life, I guess. How did I end up contracting the cold again? I mean, I had cold defense up. Hmm. Well, I guess you do need to end up drinking this stuff after all. My weather defense potions. That's unfortunate. I mean, I'll be needing those later. For the desert. Mia! How are you today? Oh, you gave me a snug bag, I see. Mm -hmm. Isn't it late for you? What you doing up this early? Yo, everyone, to, earlier today during Mia's stream, she got visited by someone who, by a 111 person raid, which brought her over the 50 person mark, which means she's probably an affiliate now, or will soon be. Almost, it's very rare to get a raid so large when you're still a small streamer, so I'm very happy for her. I think these NPCs are intentionally avoiding me now because they know I'm going to kick their ass if they try anything funny. It's 6 in the morning? Well, good morning. Good morning, good morning. It must be the future for you, right, Thursday? <laughs> I just got off work about an hour ago. Am I going in the right direction still? Yeah. Honey, why haven't you slept yet? <laughs> Come on. I mean, I'm one. To, I'm not one to talk since I also have terrible sleeping habits. But still, why do I get the feeling that I'm going the wrong direction? Well, I guess we're going to find out soon enough. No, now I'm fairly sure we're going the wrong direction because this is where. Shit. We went the wrong direction again. <laughs> because there's church and he's right there. Which means... Oh, I know where we are. Okay. Aww. You're about to doze off at last and you saw me go live. <laughs> well, not too long ago, I believe I fell asleep to the voice of you. Or to you also streaming really early in the morning my time. So me, I'll do the same for you. How's that sound? <laughs> Here's another dungeon I could visit. If I want to take a detour and fuck around and find out here instead. Whoa! Oh, it's just a hyena. These things are very easy to fight. Excuse me for a second. Oh, I need to... In combat, you do not want to be surrounded. You want to drive multiple enemies to be in front of you at all times. If they circle you, they're going to get the upper hand on you. Who goes there? Ah! Oh, Mia, you finally followed me. Thank you. <laughs> Always appreciated. Wait! That means I'm at 198. We only have two more, and we'll be able to reach 200. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mia. Ow, 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 ow. 
I can't believe I'm getting double teamed by these stupid dogs. One second. You know, it's gonna be funny if I actually end up dying to these things. But I won't. They're dead. And I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, I need to banish myself up there. It's okay. Oh, did something fall on my head? I must have been too enthralled by the game to notice. I'm so sorry, Seal. I can refund that if you like. It's okay, but yeah, Mia, it's okay. You managed to follow after we're after. Ow! 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 Oh, fuck! Ow! 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 No wonder I didn't hear the sombrero, but. Ah! Ah! That's smart. Oh, shit. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Oh, whoa, whoa, this trog uh, hits like a brick. What the fuck? Who is shooting me with poison spells, asshole? Okay, that's it. Nobody, no more Mr. Nice person. Oh my god. These trogs are a lot harder than mo than the usual ones. Fuck me, that was close. Oh. Uh, getting distracted by kill having to defend myself has... Getting distracted by having to defend myself has... removed the pain of having an anvil dropped on my head. Oh, that was horrible timing. But I'm still alive, and two of them ain't. Chocolate pull mace. Aw, oh, Mia, thank you for the head pat. I needed that after that battle. Look at me, I'm freaking, I'm kind of uh, dying right now, and I'm so, so glad I brought some antidotes after all. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, when, whenever I ever needed to use antidote. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't, I'm gonna head pat you th through, the, through the webcam. It's double head patting right there. Head pat both of you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so, um, I, as is common with my ADHD rattled brain, I have taken a complete detour, which is not where I said I was going to go. I said I was going to go to Vandeville Fortress, and instead I've decided to visit this cave system I've never been to! Oh my god. It scares the shit out of me every time. Demonic DQ, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Outward today. My name is Lolliver Hicks. I am a shit poster of artificial intelligence. More intelligent and artificial, I'd like to think myself. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're playing Outward today. Outward is a adventure game covered by uh, Seth Tenten. I cannot pronounce the rest of his name. The stream is going great. How are you today? Uh, I noticed that you're a DQ. So are you the DQ from Legend of Zelda or DQ from My Hero Academia? Or both. Are you a Deku nut, basically? <laughs> oh boy. And, um, basically, I just had an anvil dropped to my head by chat because they enjoyed torturing me during gameplay. And then I was got ambushed by these two, um, toad, uh, lizard like creatures. Which, for the cr mere crime of, uh, visiting their homeland. Looting the shit out of their um, out of their out of their cave system here. I don't know why they have sought fit to try and expel me from their home, but I will not be leaving anytime soon because there is stuff to steal. For example, this shield made out of a giant mushroom. I wanted to have one of these before, but as you can see, it's actually quite weak quite weak compared to my tower shield, so it's not very useful. But I'll keep it for my collection. Let's continue. Exp I probably should also heal, huh? That's probably a good idea right now. Let me banish myself again. 
We're also going to go ahead and grab the bow and arrow. It's probably better to not try and fight these things head on if I can avoid it because they're going to kick my ass otherwise. Hmm? You've been very interested in this game for a bit now. I'm deciding whether or not to get it and I know the Zelda reference but I made it because I'm a hero. Aww. That's cool. Well, um, I'll tell you right now, this game is very hard. It's also very jank, but it's also very fun. If you ever played a previous game like Elder Scrolls or, or pre any previous Elder Scrolls title, imagine Elder Scrolls except with a whole bunch of immersion mods installed by default. That's pretty much what this is. Um, this is pretty much what my own version of Skyrim is like after I mod the shit out of it to make it difficult to play. Um, so that's pretty much what this game is. There's also no fast travel. Uh, this guy's dead, man. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Is this the end of the cave system? Did I explore everything there is to explore here already? Bummer. Yeah. I guess there's not much to this dungeon after all. There's just those two frogs, which I have just killed the shit out of. It's still, it's uh, almost evening actually outside, so I won't be able to go much farther anyway. Or maybe I should, nah, you know what, let's set up camp here. Instead of setting up camp outside. It sounds like a dumb move, right? Setting up camp over here in the dark cave that where I just murdered the local residents, but you have to trust me on this. This is probably a better idea anyway. Use the fur tent. This location is safe. You can rest without fear of being ambushed. Really? But there were two enemies in here just now. That's weird. I, I wonder why this is considered a safe zone. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, Sorry. We're going to go ahead and go to bed. Oh, it is really fun. Especially if you play with other players. This is a co-op co game. Okay, let's go but it's very, very, very difficult. Definitely don't try to play this on hardcore mode either. At least not until you get used to it, because once you die, and you will die several times over the course of this game, you die for good. But this game also frequently goes on sale. Uh, try to wait for it to go on sale and pick it up when, when, that, when that happens. I got my copy on Good Old Games when it was on sale, I believe. Um, I guess part of the reason is because it released to some meh reviews, and it's not exactly a big company. But a lot of people found it through reviewers like Seth, like, that's who I found out about it from. Originally, I gave this game a pass, but I ended up buying it because I really liked the soundtrack, and I'm glad I did. I got it with all the expansions, too. The player base for this game is small, but uh, very passionate, as you'll soon find out. Alright. It is now 4 in the morning. <laughs> Let's continue on our quest to knock over the Vandible Fortress. Uh, I would say the map's pretty big. This is only the first map. There's actually several here, including Imbercorgus, Hallowed Marsh, and other areas, included with the expansion. If you stick around with my stream tonight, you'll be able to see us visit the, for visit the uh, forest and the desert, because I finally decided on a faction to join, and we'll be going over there after I um, destroy a fortress full of bandits. I'm not on any particular quest right now. I just feel like... Rolling over the uh, Bandit Fortress because I had visited there earlier in the game and got my ass handed to me. I had also been captured several times in this game and dragged to said fortress. 
and I have to like escape from said fortress by doing a mini game and such. Also, um, gotta watch out for the Wendigos. Wendigos are no joke in this game. Scary motherfuckers. Well, good. Uh, VTubers are nothing if not influencers, and that's kind of our job, so. <laughs> and I'm not making this shit up. I've been streaming this game for a few weeks now. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy... I thoroughly... Uh, thoroughly recommend it. Mia, thank you so much for contributing to the sheer heart attack challenge. Once that's filled up, I'll have to... You guys will get to choose a horror game of your choice and vote on it. That I'll be forced to play. I've not decided if I'm going to play through to the end yet, but I think I will. Ooh, read this. Always need more arrows. Going to take those with me. <laughs> uh, it appears I've been detected. I will spare their lives for now because I'm trying to save up room in my bag. Shit, I'm doing- I have a terrible- I do a terrible job of this, don't I? I'm saving up room in my bag to carry all the loot I'm going to get from killing everyone in this fortress home. <laughs> the last time I was here, some fairly strong, uh, bandits spawned, which kicked my ass until I cheesed them into the ground. And I don't see any of them spawning right now. These are all fairly- uh, mundane mobs that I can kill with a fart, but knowing my luck, um, oh, oh, shit, speak of the devil. That is actually a fairly strong mob right there, but he's also fairly stupid, so I don't think he's going to figure out how to get up here until it's too late. So why don't we, uh, fill him with a few arrows, huh? Yeah, you just sit there, buddy. See what I mean? For some reason, I can't target... Oh, wait. Alright, so we're just going to... But this is the same guy I think that I stole... That I took my current shield from last time he was here. So, here's the other thing, um... DQ, when you, before you get this game. The AI, in the, the AI in this game is both really stupid and also really smart. It's stupid in the sense that the AI will often just sit here and let me... Fill them with arrows until they finally die. But they also know how to dodge. So if I was fighting this guy in a fair fight right now, he would have been dodge rolling all those attacks just now. In this game, don't feel bad about cheesing to win. Because the game is also quite brutal and will take every opportunity to cheese you into the ground. As I'm about to show you, when we enter this fortress... <laughs> now, I'm fairly sure even with decent armor and weapons that the guards in here are going to still kick my ass if I am not careful. So, let us be very careful. We're going to start with the, with the uh, really, with the um, implied to be kind of lewd, kind of uh, sleazy uh, person over here. His name is Croc. What can I do for you? Yes, you remember me. What can I do for you? You know what? I actually don't know what I was expecting. That was really dumb on my part. So it appears that we have once again been stuck, been stuck, and been made a slave of this fortress because my dumbass decided it'd be a smart idea to ask for a place to rest, when the proper answer should have been to just say I'm stopping by. Naturally, I'll need to once again find a way to get out of here. Or, alternatively, I can trick, I can convince the guards to let me through to, to the other room, 
where I'll sneak around, pick up my gear, and proceed to commit mass murder. Again. Fortunately, it's been around here, been a while since I've been here, so I actually don't know my way around anymore. But while I'm here, let me go ahead and pick up some rare ingredients, such as these blood mushrooms, which I use to make heart po which I use to make health potions. I think all the NPCs that I visited here last time I was stuck in this dungeon are still gone after they um, had accidents. So I doubt I'll see them again, but it would be interesting if I do. This game surprises you. This game has some surprises in it, which I'm not going to spoil since you're interested in playing the game. But. What now? Do this for me. What now? <laughs> What can I do for you? Here's what I need. Alright. So all we're going to do now, and I remember where they kept my stuff last time. Here's another thing. This game can be extremely brutal at times, right? But it also has a lot of things which thankfully takes the edge off. For example, anytime you die or get captured or what have you, it pretty much saves all your equipment and everything somewhere. Which is why I was able to get this stuff back so easily. This may seem cheap until you see what the until you see how easy it is to die in the game. So I don't mind so much. You got to have some concessions, you know. Now then, where was I? Oh yes, I was going to kill everyone in this map and loot their bodies and then sell the rest back at town to make back all the money it took to even craft this set of armor to begin with. Going to make some room here really quick. Alright. We're gonna make this guy our first victim. Alright. Have a good night, Mia. Have a good sleep. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I wonder if he'll even react if I... You cannot do this now? Is the game seriously not going to let me... Well, I just wasted an arrow. Great. Oh, so you can't just fight everyone or start fighting everyone. You have to actually get yourself out of this. Oh. Here's what I need. So I have a better idea then. <laughs> First, gonna make myself some bitter spicy tea since I'm here. Going to make some godberry jam. Make some tartine. Ah! Uh, thank you for throwing. Thank you for throwing a rubber ducky in my face instead of something more painful, like uh, a pair of slippers. I really appreciate that, actually. <laughs> Making food is very, very important in this game. Ow! Ow! That wasn't an invitation to throw another thing at my face. <laughs> Don't cross me. Wait, why did I get sent back here again? Damn it. Uh I guess you really do need to... I was hoping I could just kill everyone to escape, but I guess that the game is not going to let you do that. At least not outright. That would be too easy, right? What can I do for you? Here's what I need. 
but all the stuff, all of your stuff respawns in the same place anyway. So I'll be able to get it back really easily once I locate it. Where's the bag? Here it is. Equip. Re-equip everything else. I am carrying way too much stuff. I'm planning on starting streaming again and I want to try VTubing, but I don't know where to start. Your VTube movements is very nice. Oh, thank you. Um, it depends. Do you want to get into PNG? Do you want to be a PNG, a live 2D VTuber, or a 3D tuber? It also, unfortunately, is locked by the capabilities of your hardware as well. Oh, here's what I need. Just as a, just to, you know, let you know. You've earned this. Yeah, thanks. Oh, geez. Thanks for nothing, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I recently updated my graphics card, too, because my previous one is starting to die on me. And I decided to splurge a little bit and get a... And get a 3080, which is why I'm able to even play this game as uh, smoothly as I am right now with my with my current programs. Because otherwise, it was struggling a little bit with my 1080 Ti that I had before this. <laughs> so I need to. Harvest some um, mushrooms really quick. I thought I picked these all up earlier, but I guess I was wrong. You do have a good PC and you want to do something like yours, and you also have a 3080? Okay. Then that's fairly simple. My avatar was made using a program called Vroid. I actually made it myself, although I had to, although I spent a few hours learning how to use Vroid. There's a lot of free programs or free YouTube videos on that sort of thing. I follow a person named Fia, who has a lot of tutorials on how to make your own avatar in Vroid. I designed the hair and the eyes for my character, and many of the clothes I wear for my character are either stock, they come with Vroid, or I got them off Booth, which is the website for selling models and other equipment for Vroiding, for Vroid models. VC Face is the program that I actually use to display the avatar which also tracks your movements using a webcam. And VTuber Plus is the program that runs in addition to VC Face, which allows you to do all kinds of cool stuff like having items thrown at your face or having stuff explode in the background when people follow you, that sort of thing. Um, I actually have a bunch of resources too for VTubing, which I can which I could send you to get you started. But there's whole stuff. You can uh, this whole thing. You can talk for someone for hours about. It, to be honest, to start you off, let me pull something off from our Discord, um, which is basically a list of resources. Uh, actually, you know, let's start with getting you an avatar first. Oh, that's fine. I like helping people with VTubing. It's always fun to see new people start up and uh, get into it. Get into, it's a fun hobby, if even though it's a very time-consuming and sometimes expensive hobby, but there are ways to reduce costs and to make it more accessible to people, basically. Um, Vroid itself is actually free on Steam, and you can also download a standalone version from the website, and that's spelled Vroid. Studio and well, let's start you off with the uh, teaching you how to make your own avatar really quick. Let me go ahead and pop a link to the pop a link to the person who taught me how to make a viewer avatar to begin with. Give me one second here, I'm opening it up. Mm -hmm. 
you, you don't don't feel bad. I told you, I this is the sort of thing I do all the time for people, and my followers are aware of that. You are not hurting anything. <laughs> Seriously, it's 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 no big deal at all. I like doing this sort of thing. And also, it will literally take me only a few minutes to send you this. <laughs> Pia also streams on Twitch. She does not really make tutorials anymore because she has been spending most of her content lately on growing her brand, which is fine. She has a lot of videos on this sort of thing, so you will have no end of um, no end of help with getting started. Another thing that you should also consider doing, strongly consider doing, is making a Twitter account. And basically getting introducing yourself to the greater community or just letting people know that you're interested in VTubing. You want to be very careful with anyone that claims that they can make you a model for such and such dollars. Uh, most people that are planning to that do that sort of thing will not immediately just pop in and start throwing in their services. They usually have a lot of portfolios and websites that already have um, already have examples of their content even then i would strongly consider making your own avatar instead of buying one outright to begin with just because it's a really good value to have to um be a vtuber that is capable of making their own content instead of just purchasing their own content people like watching people who make stuff for other people and also, a really nice thing that I like about V2, the VTuber community in general, is it's extremely collaborative. Um, it's a kind of community that people really like helping each other and sharing stuff with each other. So always don't feel bad about asking questions and asking for help. There's, I mean, there are a lot of people that they're kind of stingy and they don't want to spend time to do this sort of thing. But there's a lot more people that are more than willing to like try and get other people situated more so to speak <laughs> if you couldn't really tell so um that's another thing you should do if you don't or haven't already go ahead and make a uh, twitter account and the tags that i like using the most to find people are nvtuber and also vtuber vtuber uprising if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I'll go ahead and answer them. Um, in the meanwhile, I better get back to trying to escape this dungeon that I have stupidly allowed myself to get stuck in. <laughs> so we can continue with my previous plan of uh, looting the bodies out of all of these bandits. Ah! Wow. You did not need to subscribe just now, but thank you. Ow, 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 This is gonna last for a while. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, this lasts for a while. Um, there is an end, but it takes a really long time. Like, because I said it like that on purpose, of course. Uh, I think I set it to attacking me with over a thousand items. There will be an end eventually. Even but eventually is a very long time, as you can see. There is an end. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, the tennis balls. It could be worse. At least you're not throwing like. At least you're not. Throwing anvils at me. Geronimo! Woo! That was an option. It's okay. I've survived to worse falls. I didn't know what was gonna happen last time I did I fell I fell down the hole. So now I get to figure out this time what happens.
I was exceptionally lucky to survive a fall like that. You see, I disagree. They say that I felt that I paid dearly for that, but I'm willing to bet that I am just fine. Oh. It appears I did pay dearly for it because now I don't know where my bag is. My bag, my bag full of equipment. Actually, I do know where my Oh, I think I know where my bag is. It's probably in back inside the fortress. You know, I'm really glad that the game let me keep my armor and stuff, even though it took away my bow and everything else, because everything else was replaceable, I think. Did I put my money... Did I remember to put my money away? I guess not. If I don't figure out where my equipment is, it probably didn't... It probably took away my equipment when I decided to jump down the hole. Something tells me I'm not going to find the equipment back when I get back to the fortress, but... I suppose this is my punishment for taking the easy way out, huh? Nevertheless, let's go ahead and scrape along the beach here to see if my bag washed up anywhere. Or maybe I could just go back inside the fortress and see if it's in there. At the very least, I'm really glad the game let me keep my armor set here because this was such a pain in the ass to get to begin with. It would suck if I had to start from scratch to get this armor set back, you know? I'm also kind of freezing to death outside. Ooh, Amalite. So let's go back inside the fortress. And see if I can find my stuff. If I can find my stuff, we'll go ahead and camp outside. Regain our strength. And go back to our original plan. Which was, you know, killing the shit out of these bandits. So if they were in here, they would be through those walls. As I am right now, I'm not sure if I can actually defeat this guy. But I could, but I probably could if I if I am really careful with my skills. The other problem is I'm really hungry right now. I guess worst case scenario. If he does imprison me again, I just can just go through this whole process except the correct way. Still, losing all that stuff kind of stings, especially my tent and my money and my recurve bow. But I did get to keep my armor, my we main weapon, and my shield. Alright. Let's make some bad decisions, chat. What could I do for you? What? But we have everything you need in- No, no, I think you're sick. You need to see our medic right away. I insist. <laughs> ah, fuck. As I thought, he was too strong to fight on my own. So we're going to see if my bag has respawned back inside the Vandalful Fortress. That would be really nice right about now. If it doesn't, this will be marked the first time that the game has ever just like outright deleted my items.
but we'll see. This is where I dropped down last time. My bag is now respawned down over here. I guess if I really want to be cheap, I could just reload the save, but that kind of defeats the point of this game, doesn't it? What can I do for you? Here's what I need. Okay. Oh, uh, rip. Yeah. The... My bag did not respawn. So I pretty much lost everything just now. This has just gotten a lot harder. <laughs> Kinda sucks that the game literally does not allow you to just fight your way out and like kill everyone to earn your freedom that way. Oh, here's what I need. So I will need to do these mini games to get out of here anyway. It just occurred to me that I lost my alpha meat as well. You've earned this. Here's the plan. They need me to make a bunch of potions for these guys. What now? Mm. <laughs> What now? Do this for me. I also need to drink water. Or I'm going to get sick. Or I'm going to die from dehydration fairly soon. But otherwise, it's not very difficult to... See, you don't want to drink that river water. It's going to make you sick. Do I dare jump down again? Nah, I already learned my lesson the first time. It's still kind of a pain though that they take away your backpack along with all your stuff when you do that. Because up to this point, when you run into that situation, you don't lose anything. What now? Why am I looking at you? What was that noise just now? That was very strange. What can I do for you? Here's what I need. Alright, so I mine the stuff. Who do I sell this cool these things to again? What is it? Alright, you've earned this. Wow, I've earned five silver from digging up iron scraps. Gee whiz. What is it? Huh. Alright, you've earned this. What is it? Alright. You've earned this. What is it? Uh, where do I go next? I just occurred to me also that I could just pick up all these mining picks and tear them apart in my inventory. Case in point. And then sell them to what this. Is it? All right, you've earned this. What is it? Huh. 
All right. You've what? Huh. All right. What is it? Huh. All right. Breaking the what? game right. one You've what is mechanic it? at a time. Right. What is it? All right. What? All right. You've what? All right. You've what is all right. You've what? Huh. What is all right? What is it? I somehow made 75 gold just from doing that. <laughs> Is there something you need? Buy some food from this guy or get some linen cloth to make some bandages. Or a shiv with which, with which to shiv the shit out of people. Don't need thick oil right now. I've been poor before, so I don't feel nearly as bad right now. About losing all my items. But man. Earlier in this game. When that happened. I was kind of tempted to like quit. <laughs> but a v different fellow VTuber. Suggested that it would be more heroic. To try to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. From a terrible situation. That's ended up, ended up being what I did. And it was a hell of an adventure. Let me tell you. Why am I picking up all this stuff now? Because I'm going to tear it up. That's why. <laughs> what you do is tear them up for cloth. Don't really need this either. Or this pickaxe. Or these boots. And with that, we now have several bandages. One of which I'm going to use on myself as I'm still kind of dying here. Let's see now. What now? <laughs> How do I get out of here again? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to pay my pay my way to get out. What is it? Hmm. What is it? Huh. All right. You've earned this. What is it? All right. You've what is it? 85 silvers I've earned so far. Let's go back. Give some bandages to the lady here. Here's the plan. You've earned this. Here's the plan. You've earned this. Here's the plan. You here's the plan. You've earned here's the plan. Alright, and now I have 105 gold. Still haven't figured out how to get out of here. Life potion requires gravel beetles. Which you get from mining the rocks, but it is a random chance for it to even spawn. Oh, here's what I need. Make some meat stews. You burn this. Eat some food. I'm still going hungry, and I need water badly. What I could actually use is a water skin. If I have a water skin, I can use that to pick up some dirty water and then I could just boil it here to make it clean so that I don't get sick drinking the water here. But what I prefer to do is to get out of this place, which requires a prison key. Oh, clean water. I forgot that this was a thing. Awesome. Take all this stuff again. Mm -hmm. 
I am still deathly hungry. I still can't believe I went from planning to destroy the bandits here at the fortress to working for them again because I selected some options which made them capture me. And then when I tried to escape, instead of trying to do it the hard way, which is by doing all these side quests, I ended up throwing myself down a hole, which caused me to lose my backpack. Well, that's life. This game, like I said before, is very unforgiving. Hey, Luke. If it's none other than my sm smelly demon friend, or demon hunter friend, I should say. What now? <sighs> Fine. And just like that, I have once escaped, once again escaped Vandalful Fortress. My pride's a little bit hurt, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. But, like I said, those things were mostly replaceable. Mostly. All they did was put me outside, too. Say, that guy there has a nice-looking bow, doesn't he? And don't worry. I know I could I could know I know for a fact I could take this one. He's bleeding to death right now. Your fate is sealed now! One second. Stamina depleted too much. I can't throw an attack until it regains. Which should be any moment now. Come on. Come on. Ow. Ow. What do you got here? Ah! Food! Thank you. I'm gonna heal up here really quick. And what do you know? Once again, I have a bow. Ah, pouch is overweight though. I need a bag. It's been so long since I've gone without a bag in this game. To be honest. Ow. Who threw at me? Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, thank you for the correction then. A demon contact contract enforcer. You serve sever people. Uh serve people? Sever people. Uh, this guy appears to have heard the cries of help from his friend, but I'm going to ensure that that will be the last thing he hears. Case in point. One second. That was saying. Uh, oh, an antidote. That should come in handy. Use. I'm going to freeze to death here yet, though. If I don't get going. In fact, I'm carrying too much stuff right now. Another linen cloth. I wonder if I can still find my equipment somewhere in the hole. The only problem is, I don't really know where the hole is. I guess I could look it up really quick. One second. The hole. 
um, afterward. Service, like you service people in both meanings. <laughs> Lude. Let me look at... So according to the wiki, you never lose your backpack, period. So apparently, my backpack should be somewhere outside here. And I probably just missed it. Hey Ace, thanks for resubscribing. How are you doing today? You just watched, you just missed me getting my ass kicked. Twice. By my own stupidity, no less. Oh, I found it. There's a, there is a backpack indicator up here. See that thing at the top? What luck. If I can just reach that, I can open the Kent, eat some food, take a break, and go back inside to try and kill the Bandit Captain again. Almost there. Come on, baby. Almost there. Ah. It was right next to this giant amylite shell. Awesome. So, you see, uh, DQ. This game is quite unforgiving at times, but sometimes, but it does have, but if you are patient, it will give you ways to escape even the crappiest situation. Also, I'm still freezing to death. Like, seriously, it's, it's fucking cold. Good thing I have campfires. <laughs> Can I mine amylite? Do I even have a... I do have a miner's pick. Cool. I really wish I brought my freaking kettle with me so I could cook food. Oh wait, maybe I can still. Uh, no I can't. You need two slots to be able to cook to uh, make some potions. Let's go ahead and go to sleep for now. I feel like I've been hit by a truck, metaphorically speaking, in-game. Where did I keep my... Here it is. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Canada moment. Alright, so we're going to drop that. A couple hours here. I'm going to go sleep for around four hours here. I'm going to ambush here. Da -da 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 -da. We're just basically sleeping the whole day. Yeah. 7%? I could deal with that. This new card is great, by the way. I'm running both this at my VTuber avatar and also afterward at max. It's beautiful. It's glorious. It's totally worth hurting my phone or destroying my wallet. <laughs> I guess. But this also... <laughs> but this also means that I'm not going to be getting a boom mic for a while. Or a, a boom, mic boom for a while, but that's okay. It looks like a graphics card was a lot more important. Let's eat some food again. Drink some water. Eat some more food. Got a lot of food if you haven't noticed. All right. We are very well rested. We don't even need the stupid longbow or stupid bow. We're going to destroy it. 
It will not let me destroy the bow. Okay. Never mind. I will once again attempt to kill the captain of Vandeville Fortress. It will be funny. I will probably embarrass myself again. But, you know, third time's a charm. Thank you. This time, I'm going to do it the smart way. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Okay, endurance potions. Impact resistance. Poison. Here we go, chat. We're gonna kill this motherfucker finally. What can I do? What? But we have no, no. I think you're sick. You need to see our medic. I insist. And since we're in such a tight room, he cannot dodge any of my attacks. Where are you running, boy? Where are you running? That's what I thought. I know Seth says that he sh you should use uh, two-handed weapons because it's easier to hit things with it. But I think I've much I've gotten quite used to using sword and shield style, to be honest. I can't believe even with all that, he was still such a pain in the ass to take down. Oh, check it out. I can actually invade Vandeville Fortress now. Oh, they are not happy. They are not happy. Remember what I said about always keeping the enemy in front of you and don't letting, not letting them surround you? This is the reason why. Check this shit out. Now they're stuck in the room. You're also able to dodge roll, and I'm being dumb and not using the dodge feature. Because dodging with a heavy backpack is actually really hard. You get penalties to, using it, to dodging with it. You also move slower. But that's okay, because I have so much fucking armor... And I have this big-ass shield that they can't do shit to me. Well, actually, they can. I'm at half health. But, haha. I do have the high ground, and they are dead. And I do mean dead dead. Wow. It looks like this trip won't be for nothing after all. Alright. Let's uh, heal up a little bit. Hmm, <laughs> F in the chat? Why are you saying F in the chat? We're actually doing pretty well right now. <laughs> Who else are we going to kill? Every second you spend the game is another year it's taken off your social life. <laughs> that may be true, but isn't that true of VTubers in general? Whoa. I've never been in this room before. What is this place? Pot of food, the pirate. I've never seen this one before. Hmm. Use let's eat that. 
We're going to put this in our bag. We're going to use this. And we're going to leave that for now. I'm thirsty. Let's fix that. This is a weird... These are some weird-ass cells. It does not open from here? Hmm. Oh, shit. It appears I have fallen into a dungeon full of mushrooms. And you can't climb in this game, so I'm down here now. Open looter's corpse, huh? Interesting. Is there anything else interesting down here? Giant mushrooms, corpses. Enter Trog Infiltration. Is this another escape route? Cute. How do I get back up there? Or is there any way back up? I wonder if I'm going to keep the... A uh, fire spell on my weapon, or it's going to disappear as soon as the scene changes. I like how my... I, because my axe is glowing, it's actually lighting up the area around me as well. Hmm. Can't enter through there after all. Joke's on you, game. I killed everyone in here already. And they have not respawned yet. Eventually, I'll need to figure out which one of those things opens the gateway. Maybe there's like a clue somewhere. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Man, I am over full of stuff. Maybe a little, even a little too much. Hmm. Here's a stash. May I just stick my things in here for a time being? And come back later? That's not the worst idea, actually. We'll put the heavy... The, uh... Actually, no. No, no, no. Hmm. Here we go. <laughs> now, where is this cache located? Up here, right? Okay. So I'll remember where to find it next time when I get back. And meanwhile, let's head back and continue looting the shit out of this fortress. <laughs> hey, Vemboy! How are you today? Welcome to the stream! You're just in time to watch me lay waste to this fortress of bandits. Before I'm going, before I do though, they did manage to get me one last time and get me tra and actually trapped me in here for a good couple days. Unfortunately for them, I managed to escape. I killed their leader, and now I'm back to finish what I started.
Now then, where were we? Alright, so last time I was here, so clearly that was not the correct choice. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think that was the joke. None of these are the correct choice. They all are trapdoors. But if that's the case, then what opens this? There's probably a secret room or a secret key somewhere around here. It might not even, even be in this room, actually. Of course, I could take my sweet time looking around now that I've pretty much mer- Now that I've destroyed what I think might be the strongest bandit in the building, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's like a bandit king or something that's just waiting to kick my ass up here. Onward and upward, chap. Aha! Some sort of... Hmm. What's this button? Oh, this must be... There's an elevator. Okay. Who waits for me up here, I wonder? Oh. Now that guy looks like he can probably put up a fight. Let's prepare ourselves, shall we? Alright. Oh, shit. There's a lot of them. You're not one of my warriors. You're from Sierzo. What? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Wow, they did a lot of damage. It appears I've been once again captured. How many times am I going to get captured in this goddamn for fortress? It's a good thing I have so many items. I can just throw myself out the hole and swim again to get to get my stuff back and then repeat the whole process again. I wonder if the witch lady is ever going to is ever going to realize that hey, my the captain who was originally guarding the front the entrance of my fortress is dead. I wonder who did that. Abusing mechanics in the game to get the upper hand is not something you? that I typically Here's approve I of, need. but sometimes it is necessary. Alright, so once again, we pick up all of our junk. We get the trader backpack again. And we're going to tell, we're going to annoy the shit out of this guy here until he lets us leave for 30 go 30 silver. Mm. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. Okay, never mind. I guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. Which is doing odd jobs for this asshole again. After I make some mineral tea, actually. Do to do to do. I wonder how you make alpha jerky. Oh, salt. So you do need salt for that. Is any of my food spoiling? This one is probably going to spoil soon, so we use that. Let's go drink some water first. We are no longer thirsty. Oh. Here's what I need. Make the meat stews, boss. You've earned this. Oh, here's what I need. All right. Hmm. 
You've earned this. Okay. Let's see, it's one. I wonder. Stop being busy so you can let me out of this stupid mess. Come on. Here's the plan. You've earned this. Here's the plan. You've earned this. Fine. Since we're stuck here for the meanwhile, let's go ahead and take a nap. And... Which is weird because ambush is 100%, but... Hmm. Don't know what that's up. What that's about. Wait. Why am I doing all this? I have the Vandival key. I could just walk out. Right? I knew that. It only took me like 15 minutes to figure that out. <laughs> I'm thinking too hard. <laughs> Alright. So, previously, I, meant, I attempted to kill off the mean bandit bitch up here. I will attempt to do so again, this time with the aid of many a potion. I'm also going to add one of these potions to my quick slot. So I can use them immediately to heal what I have been going to in my inventory. Gonna replace my snipe, my range spells with it, since obviously those aren't going to be useful in the upcoming battle. Actually, send the quick slot one. Okay. Element resistances. Alright, here's the plan. Here's what I'm going to do now. can barely see shit in here, too. We're going to... Delightfully devilish Seymour. <laughs> when the game mechanics are busted, bust them in your favor. That's not my motto, but it's not a bad motto necessarily to go by. One second, my... Mouse is being dumb. I'm going to put this up here. Thank you. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. But Just lay nothing but tripwire traps all over the place. I like how they just politely stand there and watch me put traps all over the place. I guess they're kind of arrogant because they did kick my ass uh, just a few minutes ago. Which in game is probably like, what, a few hours? Several hours? Mm-hmm. 
All right, that should be more than enough, right? Now then, load up one of these. Use this potion. And, uh, what's the other one? There was a potion here I had for... Resistance? Not, not a potion, actually, but, um, food. For... Elemental resistances. Okay. You're not one of my war- What? How do you do so much damage in one shot? Holy shit, am I dying right now? No. Somehow I won. Even though that one, well, even though her spells pretty much just ripped my face in half. Why didn't her guards come to help? Because they fell all over the traps. Ah, <laughs> oh, Balira is dead. And I have taken her clothes. And her potions. The game is not letting me make off with her cool hat, though. Well, I already gotten, it's gotten a lot, all things considered. Oh, that was beautiful. I wonder how the game's going to react now to me having killed all these characters before a certain future thing could uh, trigger. I guess it's not going to care that much, huh? I can't see worth a damn. Do I have a torch? Still, though, even with all that preparation, they almost had me. But almost is not good enough. Let's see now. What else can be found here? I guess that's it. Valera is probably going to respawn at some point, but that was totally worth it. I'm glad I came here. Got a nice new shield, too. Damage 23, impact 43, impact resistance 15. Huh. You know, it's only slightly weaker... Then my tower shield and around half as heavy. Not as durable though. Also doesn't block arrows like this one does. Inflicts bleeding on shield charge? That's beautiful. Huh. May I'll keep may I'll use this in the future. Or may I use this. Alright then. It's time to finish off the rest of this fortress. I'm getting a well-deserved revenge for what all what they did to me several times over the course of this game. I'm really curious to know if there's a way to open that door. Get to that chest. Because I can't go... I can't, uh... Touch those anymore.
<laughs> Upstairs has been cleared. I've killed everyone in this room. And once again, we find ourselves down in the prison blocks. Mm. Can I not kill these guys? Hm, guess not. You're really just going to sit there, huh? Mm, okay. Oh, check this out. You dare not happening. Not happening. Archers? What archers? What the fuck do you mean are oh oh I there's there's no archers here. Hmm. I love his armor though. Oh, that archer. Well, I cannot allow that to happen. I have the high ground now, bitches. What you gonna do now, huh? Ah, oh, fucking hell, not again. It wasn't even the... It wasn't even the, um... Arrows that were the problem. There was just too many of them. <laughs> what can I do for you? What can I do? Here's what I need. I'm awake. I'm awake. All right. Let's heal up, and we'll think about fighting that guy again. More successfully this time, of course. Don't even need that much sleep. All things considered. I wonder if I could fight and kill these guys too. I wonder. <sighs> The game would not allow me to slay them. Alright. Properly this time. Sign to quick slot one. So we could use it immediately. And 
wound assigned to quick slot four. Okay. Use this. Who are you? Not happening. Not happening. That's killed one of them. Cool. Drink up a little bit. Did I even hit him with that? Okay, now. That works. Why is it not letting me... Not enough stamina? Shit. Alright, fine. In that case, actually, what am I doing? Of course I don't have enough stamina. How do I remove backpack? Remove the backpack. Come on, remove the backpack. Shit. It's not letting me remove... Oh, of course it wouldn't. Is the game glitching? Oh, for fuck's sake! It's not letting me use the skills. They're glitching out. And that guard over there is stuck over there. So I won't be able to fight using my skill slots at all. And I have to kill this guy to the old just by using... That sucks. This I can rest easy knowing that he's bleeding to death. Any moment now. Any moment now, come on. Ah, there we go. Now then, game, I need you to let me drop the backpack. Come on. Fine, okay. You're not going to let me drop the backpack, and the game is not letting me use my specials because of a glitch. Fine. Oh, uh, no, eh? You don't want me to be- Ow! Ow! Shit! Ow! Ow! Fuck out! Fine. I'll do my best to not be triggered. <laughs> as soon as these. Ow! I'm dead. I have not been killed in so long. Okay, now that I respawned, I think I got a clearer head. Thank you so much, fanboy, for the bits and also for the words of advice. 
Now, allow me to finish genociding these people. Okay. Well, that's a wrap. I think with that, that might be the last enemy in this. Wow, well, that's a sexy looking shield. I wonder what else can be found. Um, huh? Why is there a dead body? Oh, I killed this guy earlier, didn't I? Those are not the kind of words that should ever leave a normie's lips. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a normie, then. Far from it, in fact. I need to take a rest somewhere. Let me go to a bed really quick. Maybe the game will unglitch itself, then. Oh, it's definitely glitching, because I just pushed... Uh, number two, and not only did it not cool down, it took away some of my fatigue. I have not been killed in such a long time. Those are not the kind of word... Kind, not the kind of words that would ever leave a normie's lips. Okay, I miss I misread what you said the first time. <laughs> what is in this chest? Wow. I am so overweight that I literally cannot move now. <laughs> I may have gone a little bit overboard. Just a little bit. I definitely don't need all these keys. Really wish I had one of those potion one of them potions for like making your strength stronger or something. What do you mean I can't use that now? Why can't I do that now? Game is broken. Zero out of ten. Er, Colonel. I'm trying to sneak out of this fortress. But I am dummy thick, and the clap of my armor pieces is alerting every guard in the vicinity. It's keep literally keeping me from playing the game normally. There's a bit of bars. Is this a... Hmm... Well, I guess it's not really much of a loss, leaving those swords behind. I wonder what's behind here, though. Oh, It's the ship. Or it's a ship. Well, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. I'm kidding. It's extremely cool. Hmm. Red light clothes? Okay. I wonder if you can actually get to the ship, or... If it's just kind of there. There's a bit of amlite over there, too. P. 
people die when they are killed. Alright, this is becoming... I need to drop more stuff. I need to be able to move around. There we go. Down to a more reasonable speed. I need to save the game. I need to... Respawn or something. Get ourselves to a bed. This guy is really chill with me just walking in and killing everyone, huh? Well, whatever your floats your boat, buddy. Did I really kill everyone inside the, uh... I guess so. I still can't believe that I didn't get a key to open that treasure chest all the way upstairs. I'm beginning to think that I'm not actually intended to go up there yet. Here's the plan. But you know, it's just a sneaking suspicion. Still kind of annoyed that I can't use any of my attacks and for whatever reason I can't drink a potion now. Because you cannot do this now. Game glitchy game is glitchy. Maybe if I go outside it will unglitch itself. I don't know why it would unglitch itself, but I need to go outside anyway to go pick up my tent. Oh, no. Dude, I hope my game is not broken. Alright. Let's try restarting the game and hope it does not save with those glitches. If it does, I'll need to reload from a save before um, fighting the... Fighting that dude, because that's pretty bad. I won't be able to actually play the game now, otherwise. You can't really play through this game without using those skills. Just gotta wait for a good games to stop the sinking, and then we'll get back into it. Sure is taking a while just to sink too, huh? Come on, game. This is taking a while. And yet, through all this, my graphics card is still running at a good 57 Celsius. No freezes yet. Knock on wood. Why is outward not sinking? Bruh. Ah, oh, finally. Kind of spooked me for a second there. Alright, it's done sinking. Let's get back into the game.
Here we go. I really hope the game unfucks itself because that's a really messed up bug. Being unable to use your skills. Oh, thank goodness. It's fixed itself. Awesome! Well then, chat, it's time to continue on our quest. What quest is that? Uh, well, actually, I pretty much did my quest, didn't I? I said I was going to go into this game to murder some fools and then to leave without saying anything. And, well, I've already done that. I have a whole, like, literally bag full of garbage to sell, or I did. Um... I could crawl out with all those swords and things, but I'm not going to be able to make use of most of it. I was thinking maybe I should just tear them up and turn them into metal, into iron shards. Those are a lot easier to carry around. That's probably a good idea. Not like I would make much money off of selling them anyway. And anyway, I most of the stuff that does make a lot of money, I've hid in a treasure chest. Just upstairs, just over there, across on the hill. We're gonna go stop by there anyway. Stop by there to pick them up on the way home. It's still sad that I can't reach that. Reach this. It does not open from here. Where does it open from? Why is my mouse doing this also? You gotta stay there, buddy. Come on. Stay, stay there. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go indeed. It's not open from here. It is not open from here. Alright. Where did I drop all that equipment that I stole? Up here, right? Wait, not up here. Down here. And also, please... Where's my recurve bow? There you are. And my skills. I'm going to assign you to Crickshot 4 again. And Sniper Shot to this one. Thank you. That turns into Palladium if I tear that apart. Can't tear apart the bow for some reason. But I think reducing those things to metal shards greatly increased my... Yes, it did.
This game is so broken. <sighs> the reason I'm coming back down here is to just scoop up some more of the ingredients for making potions and such to use elsewhere. And then we'll head out. And head back to Church and East to sell all my crap. <laughs> is there something you need? This guy has 60 silvers. Can I take all his silvers off of him? Maybe. Actually, you know what? I could probably just sell my excess garbage here to, di to this guy. But he only has 60 silvers, so he's not going to give me much for it. It's better than nothing, though. And it'll clear up some room in my inventory. I stand corrected. He's only going to pay me 3 silvers for that. Dumb. Do I look like an idiot to you? <laughs> I mean, my previous idiocy not notwithstanding, you know? Come on. Actually, I helped this lady before. It's a recurring, uh, whatchamacallit, a recurring scenario. So I don't feel so bad about not her helping her now, so I know it's not going to do anything for me. I sure used up a lot of trip wires earlier. Let's do a little bit of mining to see if we can get some ochre beetles, and then we'll head out. Mm-hmm. Made another one of those tripwires. Did these iron veins respawn yet? They did. Shit, I need a pickaxe and I This is trub no, oh, this is troubling. I destroyed all my pickaxes. I can't bring them a new pickaxe. I wonder if I need to buy it from this guy now. As a result of my stupidity. Is there something you need? Hey Seal, how are you? Welcome back. <laughs> you disappeared for a little bit there. Alright, let's get out of here. I knew I was probably going to need a pickaxe or something, but I destroyed it anyway, so now I can't even continue my operations in this area. Oh, you just zoned out. Okay, that's acceptable. Back in Tristanese. <laughs> Thank you for contributing to the challenge, Dancer or Winter. How are you doing? Wait, that's 3,620. Holy shit. 
You guys have really been saving those points, haven't you? Y'all really want to spook the shit out of me. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? I don't have a pickaxe. I can't mine ammonites. I'm sad. Well, who needs ammonite anyway? <laughs> awesome well I hope you have a good rest of your morning thank you for stopping by we still got half an hour away are you fucking serious I'm getting ambushed at this time of the day Y'all going to regret doing that, baby. What do you mean I can't do this now? Kind of spooked me for a moment there, Dag. It's lol. It's your boy Lol's time with free Monday Fridays. Ah, uh, thank you for contributing to the Lol's. Bond. Too bad you have shitty weapons. So I'm going to immediately tear to pieces for scrap. Mm -hmm. Big serious on a date first, Jim. Actually, mugging an AI. <laughs> well, you see, they tried to mug me first, so it's totally acceptable to mug them back right I'm gonna assume that I'm right <laughs> I'm glad that we are in agreement Yes, game. I'm aware of them. Cold. All right. Time to head back home to Tersonis. Let me rearrange my pack really quick so it's easier to carry stuff. And we'll be on our way. Okay. At least I now I know this is a good source of resources. Should probably, you know, heal myself too, huh? I have 11 mushroom bars? God damn. I'm also thirsty as fuck right now. In both senses of the word. Alright, let's get going. I pity any fool that tries to attack me right now. Because I have so many arrows. The stash where I kept all my stuff is up there and the up th is right up there. Should be easy to get to when I come back here later. Actually, you know what I could do? I could dump my overweight stuff in that stash up there. I'll sprint all the way back to Chersonese using lighter clothing and my backpack, sell all my junk, and then sprint all the way back here, pick up the remaining stuff, and be on my way. A 
could have sworn I just heard the sound of a bird just now. Let's uh, climb up here really quick. Ah! Let's climb up here now. Mm -hmm. I say that was really fun, Mug or just going through, spending the entire stream just trying to fuck over this fortress, being fucked in the process, and then fucking them back. A lot of people were fucked on this day. Figuratively. Ah, see? All my stuff is still here. Now I just need to arrange this stuff in order of... In order of, um... Heavy... Heaviness. Is there a way... The environment is probably one of the best parts of this game, honestly. Much agreed, much agreed. Can I just... How am I going to do this? Hmm... This arcane robe is too nice to throw away. Probably weighs a lot less than my armor, though. I just need to drop enough stuff in here that I can run fairly fast. Try on this uh, dead witch's clothes. Well, I'd say it looks fairly well, fairly good on me. I don't want to part with my blues with my armor because I spent a long time getting that armor. God damn it! I am not going to lose it to a game glitch. I have so much linen cloth that it weighs three point three and a half pounds. Do 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 do. Uh, do 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 do. All right. So now, I should be able to run all the way back. I'm going to equip some specific trader item, trader things. And I know where I, I know where I, where the stash is. It's right here. It's right here, actually. So I need to head back all the way here. Swap out my stuff. And run all the way back. Not get killed by the Wendigo, which is over there in the distance. You can tell because of its really long neck. And how creepy it looks, even from this far away. You might not be able to tell from the game screen on Twitch because it's rather small, but trust me, it's there. It trust it's spooky. It will consume my soul and my livers. It'll reach through the game screen and suck out my soul in the real in the real in the meat space world. Also that bird that bird chicken? The bird chicken spotted me. The black the black chicken has spotted me. That thing is the devil. That that thing is it literally sucks all the light out of the game and into nothingness. That's why it's so dark. Anyway, we must run. And we're heading north. Back to Sirzo. I think we're going back to Sirzo. And we're going to uh, swap out my things here.
Is this your first time seeing the whole world of the game, Dancer? Or Winter? If so, you're in for a treat. Because there's no fast travel in this game, so I'm going to be running, so to speak, all the way back. Don't worry, though. I got plenty of ingredients for that. Where is the pungent paste? Well, actually, I don't need pungent paste. I could just use... Drink one of these. And also, eat some food to make my stamina bar or stamina restore quicker. There we go. Mm-hmm. And think, it's only... This is during winter. It looks really nice during summer and spring. That stupid bird brain. <laughs> no problem. For a moment there, I thought those were bandits. I've become a little bit paranoid. Being paranoid in this game is not a bad thing, though. We're almost back home. The country road is taking me home to the place where I belong in West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Wow, that song really is easy to sing. Easy for everyone to sing. I don't even know. I don't even really know the full lyrics to it either. You can do it. I'm running a literal marathon here. I could see my lighthouse from here. Cool. That means we're almost home. All right. Let's make a last sprint. Go to our lighthouse and prepare for the trip back. We're going to be a trader for now. I mean, I'm literally wearing a trader's backpack, so that makes sense, I guess. It truly is a testament to how difficult this game is that I still, even with all this gear, I still end up getting my asses kicked a few times during today's stream. But with a little bit of game, a little bit of game mechanics, and a little bit of um, abusing game mechanics, I was able to come out on top eventually. Back home to Serzo. Getting in the exercise, I see. Yes, yes, indeed. Need something? Um, I'm great, Barack. Why are you content? Why are you saying hi to me? My thanks. Oh my god! The game actually recorded that I killed the fuck out of everyone in the Vandible. <laughs> now this is for you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm that's this that's cool. Thanks, Burak. Need something? Ah! Thanks for the sub. Ow. 
Ow. Ah! You didn't need to. Thanks for the sub, our Winter. She didn't need to do that. Ow. Ow. It's hard to move when being hit by all this stuff, but. Ow. Ish. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> and the Wiggles too. Everyone, the Wiggles, this this new Wiggly emote was actually made by Winter. Thank you so much, by the way. It's so cute. It, me, it fits the stream so well. Ouch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. For a moment there, it looked like things were freezing to death, but... Thankfully, it was only for... Yeah, it's, it's gonna go for a while. We go hard in this house. The Wiggles are no joke. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you what. Wiggles are no joke in this house. It will continue to go. For a long time. Oh my god. The Wiggles are taking over. Ah, uh, they finally ended. Thank you again for the sub, Winter. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh my god. And we managed to make it back to our house in game. I have 22 iron scraps. <laughs> Not wearing that armor anymore. Actually, um, go ahead and... There you go. All right, now that we've taken everything out of our inventory, we can dress properly for what lays ahead. Let's go ahead and wear the... Welcome back, DQ. I've completely killed the shit out of everyone in the Vanderbilt Fortress, and I wasn't expecting the game to recognize that I did that. Because when I got back to town, they gave me the keys to the city. <laughs> Uh, now that I'm back home, though, I'm going to be switching to my trader outfit because I have a lot of stuff to sell, but I have to go back to the Vandeville Fortress because I hid everything that I stole from there in a little a cubby hole, a uh, safe, a, um, what's the name, what do you call that? A safe place, a um, satchel, a uh, hideaway, well, wh whatever, we're going to go back and grab all that, but we need to dress appropriately. Awesome. Don't need any of this. Gonna put this away here. Stonks. Damn right. I have stonks. I think I'm gonna retire my tower shield. It's been great, but this uh, round shield I have now seems to work a lot better for my purposes. A small key I can unlock certain doors. Hmm. I wonder what doors it will unlock. Each one of these bars is worth 100 silvers. I'm not exactly rich, but I'm not exactly poor anymore. Ah, I'll go ahead and bring these with me. Bring some bandages, just in case, you know. A water skin. An old lantern for when it gets dark. Leave that there. Actually, gonna wear the dark nobleman's boots because these things get, make you use less stamina, not more. 
And for the same reason, I'm going to also wear... Hmm. Actually, no. We're going to keep the... Because we need cold water defense. It's cold in this country. Going to... Keep my axe with me. My trusty axe. And I'm going to keep my... A shield. I need to bring a shield with me. Oh. I must have left it back in the... God damn it. I left it back in the stash. That's why I don't have it here. That's okay. I'm going to move around a bunch of these here. And also cures the common cold. So I'm going to move about three of these here. And I do need to ha always have a tent with me. Where's my tent? Where'd my tent go? Okay. I think this is the episode. I also need food to eat. So we're going to bring... I have a lot of travel rations, so I'm not going to eat, be, even be able to eat most of these before they spoil, which is sad. There. Okay. Eh, that's overkill. We don't need so many travel rations. Okay. And we're going to move some stuff out of here to sell. So, or to. Well, no, we'll keep those there. Okay. Let me. A small key that can open any door, any locked door in the overworld. Check out how fast I could run now. I'm a ninja. I barely even use stamina. Maybe I was wrong? Wait. Hmm. Okay, so... There's a... Thing here that I can unlock, huh? Oh boy, what's in here? What in the world is that? What is this cool ass weapon? Why is it so fast? Oh my god. I might have to turn traitor and switch to using two-handed weapons now. This is if I get to use this thing.
Now, they said that I could use this key somewhere else as well. I wonder where else I could use it. Hmm. And big ass sword. It's beautiful. Look at this thing. You know what? Maybe I will learn this skill for using that skill that they had for that Burak teaches you for using the um How much silver do I have? I only have 38. He charges 50 silver each, so I'll have to grab some more silver to learn the two-handed sword weapon skill from him. But I've run so fast that that's like a non-issue. Alright, how much is do I need here? Which bag? Quick mass. I think it's 12, right? Yeah. So why is it that when I let go of the, I guess it is is not momentum after all because for some reason it did not stop when I let go just then. My graphics card doesn't seem to be burning out or anything, so I wonder why it's doing that again. Hmm. Need something? Now listen close. Interesting. So now I've learned a new skill called Pummel Counter. Oh, well, that sounds useful. Hmm. How heavy is this? Oh my god, stop, stop running, stop running, stop running, please. Alright, uh, how heavy is this, anyway? It's only six pounds. Why am I running? <laughs> this way I won't actually need to bring a shield with me. Alright. I wonder what other doors I can unlock in Shurzo. Hmm. Now ah, well. Now, back to our original quest. Going back all the way to the stash, picking up the stuff picking up the stuff they're in, and then heading back home to sell it. Awesome. I should probably get some more weather defense potions, actually. So I'm gonna get sick going out there. Where am I? I need to also learn how to make one of these weather defense potions, so... Because I'm out of them. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're gonna head back... 
and pick up our items that are in the stash so we can bring them home. And there are quite a lot of items, let me tell you. I'm bringing with me the absolute minimum that I need to survive in the wilderness. Hopefully, though, I won't take so long in the wilderness and this will be a non-issue. But you never know. As you all have likely seen from today's session, you are never too prepared in this game. What I'm curious about, though, is why the game appears to be lagging so much now. It must be the snow. It wasn't this bad earlier. Hopefully I'll be able to get this done before the end of today's session too because it is getting late. We should, For those of you who are new to the stream, we usually end after around 3 hours or so. Sometimes I go a little bit longer into 4 hours, but I noticed that there is a severe drop off in um, viewers after 3 hours. Probably because everyone's already used to me streaming around this long. So an interest in... Uh, uh, in the interest in respecting everyone's time, we're going to try and end around that time as well. Stupid bird. Yeah, you better run, bitch. You won't believe how much trouble those birds gave me at the very beginning. They're probably still angry that I cut off one of their heads and wore it as a mask. By the way, I'm wearing this as a mask because it actually makes you run 15% faster. So, I'm not just being sadistic for no reason, you know? Weather defense potion, go! Hey, didn't I leave the town with a weather defense potion? the shit? Hmm. I guess not. Alright. We're on a time limit now, girls. I'm gonna fucking freeze to death. I also really should have eaten some food before leaving. Worst comes to worst, we could probably find some, uh, loot some meat off of a dead bird. Cook it over a fire since I brought my cooking pot with me this time. And eat that. So it's not all that bad, you know? One time a friend looked at my copy of Skyrim that I had modded the shit out of and he commented, This doesn't even look like Skyrim anymore, this looks like a completely different game. Which is kind of what I was going for. And I'm not exaggerating when I say the game I was trying to make when I was modding the shit out of Skyrim. 90% of my game time in Skyrim is just modding and testing. It was pretty much this game. Ten ten. It's basically if Skyrim was... It's basically the Elder Scrolls Skyrim if the combat was actually hard and good. And if the world was, if the game was actually really fucking difficult because most of it is survival. And if it was extremely unforgiving, but also awe-inspiring. Pretty much, yeah. I never get tired of listening to this music either.
Looks like a lot of the NPCs are starting to respawn. Oh wait, no, those are st those are the corpses I left for there last time. I hope I didn't get lost again. I did not get lost again. Good, good, good. And here's the stash, right where I left it. What time is it in game? It's 5.52. Do you think we'll be able to make it back home? Before sundown? Oh, shit. Uh, the answer is no. No, no, we will not. Let's go to bed. That's weird. Why is... I, why is this considered a safe zone? I'm not going to question it. Fuck it. I'm not going to question that. Maybe it's because I killed everything. <laughs> in sight you are thirsty let's change that hmm All right. Here we go. Here's the fun part. Getting home with all this crap. <laughs> Take all. All combined. All of my loot is under 100 pounds. I can just sprint all the way back home. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> oh. oh my god, yes. All right, we're going home, everyone. We are going back home to Surza. Hey, look, there's a Wendigo down there. We are not going that way. So, Deku, have I sold you on the game yet? Does this look like the kind of gameplay that you want to get into? I'm glad that I could point you in the direction of a legitimately great game. It has a lot of jank in it, but it's not the kind of jank that is that you you can't uh, get around. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Very fun game. The story is not much to write home about, even though I haven't gone very far in it. 
In fact, part of today's uh, schedule, I was planning on actually continuing the story and finally joining one of the factions. And then I got distracted and got with the uh, whole destroying the Vanderville Fortress thing the whole time. But that's fine. It seems like everyone had a lot of fun at my own expense, and I certainly had a lot of fun completely annihilating said fortress. Let's eat some food. Hey look, another it's a pearl bird. And it's dead. <laughs> Early on those pearl birds are really fucking annoying. You'll see what I mean. But as you can see, it's also very satisfying when you kill the shit out of them. Anyway. Let's uh put this. Check this out, by the way. I'm not sure if you noticed if you were here when this was happening, but you can actually... That's right. It is hanging from my bag and is lit. Another thing, you have to install mod in Skyrim to actually get to work to get to work um i stream four days a week monday wednesday one monday, monday monday wednesday friday from seven from 5 p.m to 8 p.m central standard time and i stream on saturdays from eight to from eight in the morning to 11 in the morning central standard time i play outward on wednesdays and i'm going to be continue playing outward until i complete the game which is not going to be for a while so don't worry about that on Mondays, I usually stream. I was streaming some indie Metrovanias. I was streaming Lost Ruins, but then I recently beat that game. So I'm probably going to be replacing that with Anno Mutationum. My understanding is that Anno is a very short game, so I'm not going to be playing that for very long either. But we'll see what we'll play after that. On Friday, I reserve for playing VR games, and I'm currently working my way through Project Wingman. Which is a flight simulator arcade-ish game. And on Saturdays I reserve for art. Right now I'm spending my Saturdays writing VTuber lore for myself. So that's what I'll be doing on Saturday. Also, I set a goal for if I reach 200 Twitch when I reach twi when I reach 200 Twitch flower followers, I will be doing a giveaway on Twitter, where people who uh, like and retweet a post that I'll be posting later. Um, I'll be drawing straws to see who gets to win the chance to get some VTuber lore written from, from by me for them. But we need to wait until the cart before the horse. We gotta wait before wait to uh, reach the next milestone. But um, with Mia coming back in to fo give me a follow, I think I'm at 198 now, so I'll be reaching 200 very soon. Oh. Got a phone call coming. One second. Such good timing. Once we get back to Sirzo, we'll end the stream, find someone to raid, and these people insist on fucking with me right now. Let's have one last fight before we end uh, the stream. And I'm out of stamina. Shit. One second. By the way, yes, you can drop your bag to be more combat effective. But right now, I have no stamina. Oh, this guy has a shield. Fuck. This might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Oh. That was a waste. Ow, 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 ow. It's not looking good for us, Chief. I'm at half health and no stamina.
Ah, uh, you got to use those things at the right moment. Ow. It was only a flesh wound. You're next, buddy. Ow, 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 ow. This is a speedy motherfucker. Oh my god. I'm very cold. And I'm freezing to death out here. I don't like my... I actually do not like my odds right now, to be honest. Oh, fuck me. You did not just hit me through the fence. Are you fucking serious? You did not just hit me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, keep in mind, like I said, this game does have a lot of jank. That, that was really fucking dumb. Oh my god. Ah! But like I said, the game does have little things into it, in it to keep the frustration factor low. The devs have so kindly let made the bag respawn with me, even though I dropped it earlier. So that's a thing. Now then, Greetings, who wants friend. to get rich? Greetings, friend. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the head pats. What can I do for you? All right. You guys are so nice to me, even when I fucking suck. I appreciate that, you know. I just realized that I could have probably gotten more money out of the blacksmith selling the stuff to the blacksmith instead of to the sword warrior. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> eh, that happens. Fuck it. Hmm. Note to self, I can get a lot of money selling amylites to people, huh? Who knew? Gonna convert these into gold. Thank you. I'm gonna take gonna keep these. These are cool. Just for my collection of weapons that I'll never use. Alright. So it looks like getting used to using um a two handed weapon takes some getting used to. I've probably gotten a little too uh, careless and uh, used to using shields and such. There's a junk pile here. And for some reason, I am stuck going in one direction. Oh, Another green one right there? <laughs> so DQ, I do have to ask, uh, how did you find me on Twitter, on Twitch? Were you referred to me for by a certain text board? You know, that sort of thing.
Say goodnight to you. <laughs> Get a full night's rest. Oh, shit. Rico was streaming today, weren't they? I know who we're visiting tonight. Since I missed her stream. <laughs> I wonder if they're still streaming. I'll need to watch the VOD to see if I raised it all on their uh, ranking system. Probably not. Where are you? I am probably following too many people right now on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Only three viewers? Once again, everyone, thank you so much for coming today. today's stream. We got a lot of stuff done. Once again, we kind of deviated from, the, deviated from the path of what we were planning on getting done, but that's okay. Remember what they say about games like this. It's always the journey, not the destination. Icon balls, okay. I've seen new icon balls. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks like they're playing Overwatch right now. Kind of an intense game on top of that. We will stream again this Friday. We're going to be continuing Project Warlock. As for our raid message, as you'll probably see that you now have some free emotes that you can use as a follower. So let's go ahead and use Yes, I'm just going to start drinking. Bye. Oh. So, it's weird to go from a uh, hit scan from a uh, what is it? Projectile straight to hit scan. Oh, balls. Oh. Uh, thank you for the raid. Holy shit. Welcome Raiders, welcome my name is Rika, I am your uh, resident Fallen Angel Fem Buddy. What were you 
streaming? Where were you streaming, Holmes? Holy shit. Uh, my name is I'm Rika, your resident fan of Infinity. I play Overwatch. Uh, I do Ace Farm. 